Okay, so here's what I eat in a day in a calorie surplus. So the goal is to try to gain muscle. So with gaining muscle, I have to eat a bit more than usual. Very different for me because I'm usually always just trying to lose weight, but I don't need to lose any more weight. I want to like get stronger, get a little bit of muscle on me and yeah and of course grow the dump truck back there so <laughs> and if i'm being real that's where i'm trying to grow the most So for breakfast today, I'm gonna go ahead and have some cream of wheat. So I put three tablespoons and then add water. I just read the directions and throw that in the microwave for a few seconds, stir it. And then to sweeten all of this up, I'm gonna add some butter, some brown sugar, blueberries, and some cinnamon. And then on the side, I'm just gonna have some greens along with two scrambled eggs and just of course seasoning it up with salt and pepper. And that's just gonna be the side. It's just gonna kind of have two different things for breakfast. And now I'm just grabbing my vitamins. These are for my hair. And then the other one is spironolactrum. I think I said it wrong. <laughs> I'll put it right here, but it's basically for my skin. I have hormonal acne, so I've been taking that to help. And yeah, that is the breakfast for today. For some reason, eating cream of wheat just reminds me of like baby cereal I used to give Ember. It's so funny. It's like literally looks the exact same. Not that bad though. If she was eating this, she probably was really happy. <laughs> Okay, so it is smoothie making time. I'm gonna make my favorite green smoothie that's high in protein and it tastes good and it's just like the go-to. So first gotta get the ice. Got some ice, spinach, oat milk, peanut butter, protein, and collagen. All of the goods. Oh, and then the most important thing, banana. popping in here to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. So Thrive Market is an online membership based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone with guaranteed savings on every order. Also, they have an amazing selection on organic groceries, snacks, supplements, and even eco-friendly cleaning products, which is my favorite. And as a Thrive Market member, you'll save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. And if you happen to find a lower price somewhere else, they'll even match it. And once you join, you can check out the deal section on the website or app for even more savings. And new items are always being added from your favorite brands, including items that you might not be able to find at your local grocery store. 
Also, all the products have reviews, so you can read before you buy, and that's something you can't get at your local grocery store. So there's two membership options. I recommend going with annually because it comes out to $5 a month. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and go to thrivemarket.com slash Elizabeth Rebecca to get 30% off your first order, plus a free gift that's worth $60. Okay, so it's lunchtime now, and I'm gonna make my favorite go to salad. This stuff is so good, and it's ridiculously simple to make. So, I'm just gonna take some of my romaine lettuce and wash it. I can open this freaking bag. And I'm just gonna pull it apart so I can wash it real quick. Okay, then I'm just gonna get paper towels out and just let it dry like that. I need to get one of those like salad tossers, but I don't have one, so we're doing it the old fashioned way. Paper towels. Okay, and then while this dries up a little bit, it's kind of a lot of work. <laughs> and then while that dries up, I have some salmon I'm gonna throw on my pan so I can throw this sucker on my pot. So come over here. Follow me, follow me. We're just gonna pan fry this sucker. add lemon juice and olive oil and then I just like to season it up with salt and pepper it's literally like the easiest recipe ever but like trust me you guys when I say it, it's addicting and it's so good cool so I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil on this like so. and then add the lemon juice I think I might use two lemons too And then the star of this is Parmesan cheese, guys. You just sprinkle this all over top. So I'm gonna add about, mm, I think one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese to this. Okay, and then I'm just gonna plate mine already too. Then whatever's like left over, like the salad, I'll have it like the next day. Then I'm just gonna add some crushed croutons on top. I'm just gonna have these like together. I don't wanna put this on top because like, I feel like, I don't know. And I just don't wanna ruin my salad because I love it so much. Salmon's good at everything, but I just, I don't know. It's just, the flavor of the salad is just so delicious. We're gonna top that off with the avocado. Then I'm just gonna top it off with some salt, the avocado. And then maybe a little bit of red pepper flakes. Would it kill a vibe or would it? We can make it look interesting. I'm not gonna put too much on it. I'm just gonna ruin it. Yeah. Okay, so now it is time to hit the gym and before I go, I'm gonna take some pre-workout 
I don't take this all the time, but I am going with my man today. And since he has it, I'm gonna take it and it'll help me get a little pump for the gym. The only thing is with this stuff, it makes me so itchy. I'm like, my ears itch, my arms itch, everywhere freaking itches. But it's fine, it only lasts for a few minutes. But today we did biceps and back, and I also topped it off with abs at the end. to beat a salad for dinner that night but i'm gonna actually show you guys a real recipe that i make at home this is actually my favorite food ever i'm gonna show you guys what it is and how i make it so the star of the show is the sauce here so i'm gonna go ahead and start off by chopping up four roma tomatoes and then a half of onion kind of like just not like perfectly chopped just kind of like roughly chopped to spray my pan throw in that onion mix it up a bit and then throw in the tomatoes i'm not gonna really like super fry this up just like slightly but then i added four cloves of garlic seasoned it with salt and pepper and then what's gonna make the sauce so yummy and spicy are these chilies i'm gonna go ahead and put up all the names right here on the screen then I'm just gonna add water to cover that. Then I'm just gonna cover that up to rehydrate everything. And once those are rehydrated again, and it looks like this, I'm gonna take it off the heat and then throw it all inside of my blender. And that's what's gonna make it so yummy and so spicy and so good. And then on that same pan, I just cleaned it up. I put some olive oil and then I chopped up the rest of that onion and I kind of did it more long ways, like stringy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in the shrimp. The shrimp takes like no time to cook. So when it gets pink, I went ahead and put back in that sauce, seasoned it up with plenty of salt and pepper. And then it's pretty much done. It should look like this. I have some leftover rice. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my bowl here and then just top it off with the shrimp and sauce. And then I'm just adding a half of an avocado and that is it. This stuff is so freaking good and it's so homey, spicy, but delicious. 